Hello and welcome. How is everyone? Today I have some exciting, exciting topic for you. And it's connecting with your loved ones who have passed over. You know, this time of year with Thanksgiving, Christmas, or whatever you celebrate right now, it's a time of celebration. However, there's also the missing piece, that missing piece of that someone special who has left our heart, left our home, left this physical realm. And we're so used to having these beautiful, wonderful souls in our lives, but they've decided to transition. I remember when my grandmother transitioned in November, a few years ago, and it was a really tough time because I was close to her and she was a part of my childhood and she was also part of my teen years as well as adulthood. And it was just this connection that you have with these loved ones. And when they leave, it breaks your heart. And when the holidays come, we feel that grief. And so I want to welcome you here to connect with your loved ones. And if you know anyone that would be interested, please tag them right now. And I'll see you back in Welcome back. I'm so excited to be doing this episode of connecting with your loved ones who have passed over and the grief that you are dealing with right now. Even that little bit of grief is deep seated. And so I want to ask you guys, how many of you have lost a loved one? And I'm going to look at all the comments and see who's here. Hello, Lori. Hello, Articulate the World. Hello, Christine. Hello, Tiariana. Oh, what a beautiful name. And I see everyone's joining us from YouTube. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> so usually we get a lot of people on Facebook and today it's all YouTube. So I hope that I am connected to YouTube, uh, I mean to Facebook as well. But I want to go ahead and invite um, Dana here today. She is here with me. She is one of our healers at Ananda for Life and she is going to be joining me. So let's bring her here. Hello, Dana. Hi, Deepal. Hi, everyone. Hi. <laughs> so, yes, so wonderful. You know, we're talking about grief, and um, I know you recently lost a loved one. Can you tell us a little bit more about that and, and the process that you were and are going through so that we can actually connect with that loved one and bring them here to our healing as well? Mm, beautiful. Yes, I lost my brother. About, uh, just about three weeks ago. Yeah. So it's very raw, very fresh. And, and um, you know, for people, whether they've lost loved ones three weeks ago or three years ago, the holidays definitely, um, you know, bring up a lot of emotions, a lot of grief. Um, it's definitely a hard time of year to uh, be processing that kind of a loss. Um, very sad. He was my only sibling. And both of our parents are, are deceased as well. So it's also a really strange um, feeling to be, you know, the only, the only one standing from your war family that you grew up, you know, your nuclear family. So um, it's, yeah, it's definitely um, obviously complex emotionally and uh, compounded with the time of year. It's, you know, my heart goes out to all of you who have lost uh, loved ones in your lives. Um, whether it is recently or a long time ago, it, you know, it just, we always feel them, I think, even more this time of year. Uh, so I think it's a wonderful idea to connect today. Um, Definitely. 
Yeah. Definitely. I, I feel that a lot of people are coming through. A lot of loved ones are coming through at this time. Um, guys, can you hear us? Because I see somebody saying um, you need to unmute. And I'm not sure if we are muted or what is happening, but I just want to make sure oh, that I am connected. Okay. So I know we are live here. Um, okay. So, okay, Crystal says, yes, I can. Okay, I just want to make sure that you guys could hear us because this is an important topic. Thank you, Destiny. So this is a really, really important topic because I find that grief, it's as if when we lose a husband, when we lose a mom, a father, all the relationships are very different, right? A brother, but yet it all comes down to that same loving relationship, um, no matter who it is, but it's a different grieving process. And the length of the grieving process is also a little bit different. But here's the one thing that I do find with grief. We do find that grief can also happen when a loved one leaves your home, not transitioning necessarily, but like your kids, if they've been with you for a long period of time, there's a sense of grief there. There's a sense of loss, right? And then when you lose a loved one like your spouse, yeah, there's that grief, but now there's a lot of loneliness, a lot of people who are feeling that loneliness. So putting together loneliness and grief it's just a bad combo. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's a very, it can take a lot of people into that sadness, anxiousness, anxiety, right? That's that depressive state, especially during the holidays. And I want to ask you guys, who here has experienced any kind of grief? We want to hear from you. We want to help you connect to your loved ones. So I just want to hear from all, all of you who are joining us here today. Tell us about who you'd like to connect with. What, what are you experiencing? Because grief can also settle in our body. We organize grief, not just in our heart, but other organs and systems in our body, not only energetically, but physically. And it can really wreak havoc in a lot of how we move forward, right? You don't you want to be stuck for a short period of time, right? I mean, that's natural. But when it becomes an extensive period of time where you're just stuck and you can't get out of it, you can't get yourself motivated, you can't get moving, that's when we need to work with you, right? We need to clear those energies. And that's what we want to do for you, okay? And a Facebook user says, yeah, a dog. Yes, losing a pet? Oh, my goodness. You know, when I think about losing my pet, which, you know, these thoughts come into your mind, <laughs> you know, she's only five years old, but one day I know, I know that's going to happen. And it always brings tears to my eyes. And I just, it, my heart goes out to anyone who has lost a pet. Um, I, I just can't imagine. Again, these are all different relationships and the grieving process is different. Wouldn't you agree, Dana? Absolutely. Um, yes, 100%. And depending on the relationship and whether or, you know, a best friend, childhood friend, yeah. you know, I have a friend who's um, grieving for her childhood friend's mother. And she said, you know, I grew up with this woman like a second mother. So it's, you know, again, we're so interconnected in, in different ways. So we will grieve in different ways um, for and, and different lengths of time. And um, yes, and obviously that's all normal, but where we do run into trouble is getting stuck in that energy. Um, and it's just not healthy for our bodies. And obviously we have to go through the process, but um, we need to, you know, feel it and then allow it and release it, you know, just not getting it stuck in our aura and our body. Yeah. Um, and it's so interesting that you so while you were talking i was just allowing and you know just being in the energy here and right before you said facebook uh user lost a dog i saw a dog so that dog has actually already come through and i can't believe that you just said dog oh. because i was about to say someone here has lost a dog <laughs> oh it gives me chills it gives me chills yes oh. so 
Oh, yes. Are you getting any messages for, for that person? Um, you know, there is a tremendous amount of love um, and gratitude being shown um, by this dog. And I just see um, I just want a message of love and just kind of wanting to, you know, um, wag tail and, and, you know, show the love like licking and, you know, just cuddling and jumping on, um, on this person, just wanting to connect and, and let them know I'm okay. And I'm with you. I'm always yeah. with you. I, um, I check on you. I watch over you. Um, and, but I'm, I'm okay. Um, and just, and that I, I love you. Mm. I love it. Yeah. But, yeah. Oh, well, Facebook user, I don't know who you are. I don't have a name for you, but I would love a name. And um, please, guys, if you are uh, sharing, please have your name there because we do need your name. Um, it would be good to be able to connect with you through name. So thank you. And I understand when you said best friend, I lost um, just a few months ago in September, long weekend, I lost one of my best friends who was from high school. And that was so tough for me. I could not. She passed away from a uh, from brain cancer. Ugh. And it was it was truly devastating. Um, I must have cried for days and it just hit me really hard knowing that somebody younger than me, you know, and, and the fact that we were friends and just, yeah. I mean, we spent so much time together, it, it, even in college. Um, and I was a bridesmaid at her wedding. She was the first one to know I was pregnant. I mean, it was a deep connection. And so it was very, very tough um, to find out that she had transitioned, but I understand. And I understand the pain she was going through, you know? Um, so we're here to help you connect today. And I know Dana picked out a message from the guides. Um, while she shares this message with you, I want you to tag somebody right now in the comments or share this out on your Facebook page or wherever you can so that we can help as many people connect to their loved ones right now. Okay, can you guys do that for us? That would be awesome. We would appreciate it. We love you and we wanna help as many people as we can. That is our passion. That is our uh, mission here at Ananda for Life. And um, thank you so much guys for doing that. Um, all right, go ahead, Dana. So I picked a card before, right before we got on for all of you listening today and, and listening to the replay as well. Um, and it's from my Ascended Masters deck. And the card is Open Your Heart to Love, Jesus. And, um, you know, the message here, besides the obvious, <laughs> um, you know, the deeper layers of this, though, is, is um, that no matter what your background, culturally, religious, you know, Jesus is a, um, a, a very powerful healer and figure in the spiritual world, as well as in many religious traditions. But um, he was all about love and just that vibration of love and compassion. And uh, he, he is there for all of you, whether you you know, believe in him in that sense of, you know, again, it's not a religious message, but um, he's there and he is an ascended master who just like uh, Kuan Yin, Mother Mary, all about love um, and wanting to comfort uh, those who are struggling and send the vibration of love, wrap you in arms of love um, and know that you're supported and guided even if you don't feel like you are. And we, I'm sure Deepal, I work with a lot of people who, you know, have really lost touch with that support and are going through hard times or things going on with their body and really reconnecting them with that uh, vibration is so healing. Um, and it just brings forth so much healing and, and um, light into their bodies and, um, it's, it's really a transformative experience. So being open, opening your heart to love and even just the possibility of love, even if you're in the middle of grief, 
just feel that love and we're sending you vibrations of love right now to all who are with us and listening to the replay just infusing this whole uh experience here with with love and when you you know with the um, clearing you can clear energy and then fill um with love and light or you can really send in love and light and then there's so much going into you that whatever isn't in your um highest good will leave because we're just infusing you with so much light it helps push out the grief and the whatever else you're experiencing so just sending you all some of that right now let us know what you're feeling guys because this energy is very very strong and dana your brother's here i just want to let you know on the left side uh right side of you left side of me and thank you he's here to support you and i can sense um a lot of people are coming through a lot of lost loved ones are coming through right now see if you guys can feel their energies mm -hmm. see if you can feel them entering your space yeah and some of you we invite them here to our healing space. Mm. We want them here. Yes, and I'm feeling a lot of energy in the third eye for people. So if you all close your eyes and just, what do you see? What do you sense? Who do you feel is here for you? Because they're here. And we welcome them. I just can't stop yawning. Mm, the energy's moving. <laughs> it's moving. It's moving. And they're all coming through. Mm. Okay. Beautiful. All right. So let's help people out one on one. And I'm just going to go in the comments. By the way, for all of you who are here, I just want you to know that we have an amazing sale going on right now at anandaforlife.com where you can grab MP3s, sessions, and much more. Dana's got her sessions for $99. That is unheard of. So this is your opportunity if you are still holding on to the grief and no matter what you want to work on, whether it's your health, your finances, or, you know, your career, connecting with your loved ones, Dana is offering sessions for $99 along with our other healers. And we have amazing specials on MP3s down to $15. So be sure to check out anandaforlife.com. It's a very exciting time. I love this time of the year because it's just so much fun to give away. <laughs> so let's connect with all of you. Um, okay. So you know what? I feel like this person is new. Ty uh, it's a Tayariana, and um, I, I want to help her connect with her cat. Um, okay, let's see. Okay, I'm, well, I, I, you know, I want to know what color is your cat because I'm getting uh, like a golden color, but I might be connecting with someone else's cat. So I just want to make sure that I am connecting with your cat. So please do share in the comments. If you're still here, then please do share um, the color of your cat and the age of your cat. That would be amazing. All right. So I don't see her commenting. Uh, let's see, because this would help us connect a little bit more. If you are live, it helps when we have questions to ask you. So if you are still here, my dear, please do share. Uh, let's see if she left a comment anywhere else. I want to connect with my cats who have passed any of them. 
Okay. All right. Are you getting a connection with any of them? I see the names. And sorry, this was the same. This is Tiariana. So yeah, I'm going to share. I'm going to play this. Oh, okay. Great. Any of them. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. There you go. Yeah. She says one was golden. She passed um, 15 years old. Okay. okay. Perfect. And so interesting that she has a bunch because I saw a tabby cat, a gray and black. That's um, and I just thought it would we'd see, but she has multi, many cats here. So um, that I, but again, you always want to make sure we've got the right family because there are, like you said, I can feel there's a lineup happening. Of, of, exactly, <laughs> exactly. I can see them all coming through. Okay, you know, so I'm going to connect with the golden cat. Okay. And Tiariana, I want you to connect with the cat as well, the golden cat. Um, I feel like, like that cat followed you um, everywhere. Was it a he, um, this cat, um, was very attached to you. And this cat is saying that they're still attached to you and walking um, around you. Like right now I could see that cat walking in circles around you, creating a beautiful golden, um like a circle for you to connect with that cat okay so i really want you to close your eyes and i want you to breathe in and i want you to notice how you're connecting and what messages you're receiving And I don't know if it was a rescue cat or, or I'm not sure, but that's what I'm getting. Like one of them was a rescue cat, but it feels like this one. Um, because the cat keeps saying you saved me and I don't know what, what that means. Um, yes, he was a boy. It was an amazing relationship. Okay. Was it a rescue cat at all? And do you have any rescue cats? Because for some reason, I don't know if there was a trauma that also that may have happened, um, but he keeps saying, you saved me, you saved me. So we're just connecting and connecting you to him. And I want you to see if you feel that connection. Yes, rescue. Okay, beautiful. Mm -hmm. So, um, yes, so you saved him from a, a time when he most needed you. And I feel like you got him at four or five years old, I'm getting something like that, or four or five years ago. I'm getting four or five. Um, I rescued him in India from streets. Okay. Wow. Well, there's a huge connection and he's here and you can definitely feel him because you are very empathic and highly sensitive. So I can sense that you sense him around you. So, so go ahead and connect with him at this time. And if you want more of a connection, you can connect with us and we will give you a deeper healing and reading on, um, on working with your past loved one. Okay. But we do want it to share that what message they have for you, if there is a message that we get. But I hope that's enough information for you, my dear. Yeah, you had a short time with him. He was three months old when I got him. Okay, so that makes sense. All right, well, thank you for being here, my love. All right, let's see. Should we, she's um, She's going to dream about them tonight. They're going to come, all these cats are going to come connect with her in her dreams. Um, she'll really feel that. I believe I it's it. tomorrow in the next couple of days. Yeah. Mm. Hey guys, who is new to um, readings and healings with Deeple? Who is new here today? Because I always like to give a shout out to our newbies. So please say hello, say I'm new if you are new here. Sisters in um, ARMM, Lori. Oh, hey, Lori. Um, so happy to have you here. Who else is new here? 
please share say i am new yep i got it lori thank you and i feel like i don't know if quails walbro is new but um oh kathy uh so wonderful kathy to have you here tiariana very nice zayed um very good and let's see uh facebook user i think that's allison new uh yep all right well i am so happy that our new people are joining us and finding us um oh okay my business says new to your colleague well yep dana's been with me for the last four or five years so um if you haven't worked with her i highly recommend you taking this opportunity to grab the sale and get a chance to work with her she's amazing and her healings are very powerful she has a lot to offer guys i, I i've been you know dana has gone through the quantum body awakening um uh program level one and level two and she like i said she's been with me for quite some time and i've seen her grow her skills are powerful she's got most of all eight clairs completely open that's why she's able to do this mediumship with me here today and i picked dana to do this because i know she has that power so um so let's see, let's tap into, is it Qua uh, Quailis, uh, Walbro? Um, oh, Rhonda. Okay, that's Rhonda. <laughs> okay, she lost her mother. And I feel like your mom was quite, um, it feels like your mom was um, quite elderly. If you could give us some information about uh, your mom, her name, what age she passed that would be great um and and we're just going to tap into the energy and dana if you get anything please go ahead and share with rhonda anything that you're getting sure while you were um go talking there um i was working with rhonda's energy and just rhonda letting you know that um i felt the grief that you're carrying really strongly in the third layer of your aura which also uh, is corresponds to the uh, solar plexus chakra and was working with softening and reprogramming and changing and dissolving that grief in your aura. Um, I felt a lot of feeling alone and vulnerable from you. So clearing that and uh, that's, that's where I was working in the beginning here. So just was doing some work for you there, just letting you know. Um, and now so we'll feel her mother. Rhonda, what I'm getting is um, your mom, I don't know if she always told you to look up, but she's telling you to look up right now. She's right there looking down on you and sharing her love with you. I can feel the heart to heart connection. So let's connect your hearts so that you can feel her. Can you please do this, Rhonda, and please um, comment so I know that you can feel her? Uh, Brenda, 72, yes. And um, I, I can see, I don't know if she had dark hair, but gray, dark hair. Um, I don't know if it was long or medium length, but that's what I'm getting. I, I'm not sure. Um, she's, she's, you had a really beautiful connection with her. I think it was more later on in life. Um it's um and and i don't know if it, can you tell us if she passed from natural causes or was it something traumatic um please share that information with us as we connect you to her energy right now and it's that heart to heart all she wants you to do is look up every time because when you need her she says look up and i'll be right there Rhonda, let us know if you're connecting with her. She's got her hands on the two sides of your shoulders and she's looking right down at you.
there were some words that were unsaid and she's trying to share them with you and she wants you to listen listen she says um use your listening to hear what she has to say and she's going to come through to you through music i don't know if that was your thing with her but that's what i'm getting okay i hope that helps hmm all right so um, it would be great if you guys can comment so we uh, know we're on the right track as these beings want to come through, but we need this to be a little more interactive to help you, okay? Um, okay, how many of you are feeling your loved ones? Let's say that. Just write in the comments, I feel my loved one. Because when we're working on one person, it's like, like we said, a lot of people, a lot of um, souls that have transitioned are showing up. So please write uh, that you feel that connection. Yeah, Qu uh, um, Rhonda says she had a major stroke. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It felt it felt very very strong that energy. Um, so Rhonda, let us know if you were able to connect with her. Okay. Uh, say, yes, I was able to connect with my mom. Okay, that's all I want to know. Shiraz says, I feel my loved one. Um, let's see. Oh, beautiful. Tanya says, I feel my cat. How beautiful. Um, oh, Zayed says, I feel my loved one. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, this is beautiful. I feel like we've helped a lot of people connect. Let's see. Um, I'm just going to move through and let's get this beautiful. Uh, Lori Faust. Hello, my love. Um, we're going to do this last one here today, guys. Um, I am at the beach and celebrating Thanksgiving with my family. And I want to wish you and your family a beautiful and happy celebration, whatever it is. And I'm just so grateful for each and every one of you, for your support, for your love, for you being here and being the light that you are in this world. And I want to tell you that um, this has been a very, very special uh, show today as we connect with your loved ones. So we're going to help um, Lori and Nina connect uh nina passed while i was overseas never got to tell her how much she meant to me and i think that is the worst part of somebody passing right that you never get to know when somebody's gonna cross over and you never know when death comes and um and the worst part is you take the blame and the fault and the guilt of not being there if you're not able to be there, right? My grandmother, same thing happened with my grandmother. I wasn't able to be there. And um, I had just done a session with her as she was passing. I was helping her transition, which I help, have helped so many people do that with their loved ones so that it's not so painful because a lot of times the soul just wants to stay here and it's actually being pulled in two di directions and so if you have a loved one that would that you know is having a hard time passing over please do email me at deepolshaw at anandaforlife.com you could also go to anandaforlife.com and um and put your information in in the contact us uh page um, and I will, I will set up something to where we can help that person transition because it's a very important time. Just like birthing, death is also a very important time that should be done with ease and grace. Okay. And we want to make it very easy for our loved ones, um, even though it's hard for us. Okay. Uh, Dana, are you getting some connection here? Because I can feel it. Yes, yes, I am. And um, Lori, so while I was feeling into this, um, I was channeling a message from from Nina. Um, and I wrote it down because it was coming through and I knew we were going to 
talk about it in a moment. So um, her words are, and she's, she's right here for you. Um, and she says, oh dear child, I already know. You don't need to tell me out loud, hold me in your heart and feel the love I send to you always and know how much you meant to me as well. So very beautiful. She just, I mean, she came rushing in as soon as, as soon as I read your message, I don't even know if we started talking about it yet. Uh, but yeah, she just came rushing into me. And um, so I, as I said, I just wrote those words down for you, Lori. Um, and feel her. She's, it, it, again, just close your eyes and just feel she's sending you these beautiful vibrations of love and forgiveness and doesn't want you to hold any guilt about that. Um, and, and you meant so much to her as well. Nina, I'm guessing she was younger than you. Um, I'm, I'm not sure. Is, was she younger than you? And then something with the heart. And it's like she's she's she holds a lot in her heart, and she always did. She was very empathic. And it's like as if her heart stopped on her or something uh, with her heart. Can you please share this information so that we can see if we're on the right track here and we're going to help you connect with her. Uh, Lori says my grandma, my Nina. Okay. It was, it was your grandma. Okay. So for some reason she's coming out also as your sister from another lifetime. So it's really interesting. Mm -hmm. So her hip, what was going on with her hip? Because it's connected to her heart. So for some reason, I'm getting a sister. Somebody's sister is coming through. It might, yeah. Somebody's sister is coming through that has passed over. This is interesting because they're interfering right now with this connection, with Lori's connection. Um, anybody have a sister that they lost here? Okay. Um, all right. So Lori hip. Okay. Crystal says my sister did. Was she younger than you, Crystal? All right. Yes. And was she, was there something going on in her heart or, um, I'm also getting reproductive system. So I'm getting two things, Crystal. heart, breast, reproduction, three things happening here. All right, Lori, I'm, I, I apologize, but when spirits come through, they, they really do fight to be seen. And it's quite interesting because that happens sometimes and you just work with them. Um, she was killed in a car accident when she was 20. Okay. So, Crystal, I'm going to help you connect with your sister. Um, were you in the car with her or somebody was in the car with her? Or was she alone? Um, and Lori, uh, I think Dana, are you helping Lori connect with Nina? Yes. Okay. Okay, perfect. Crystal, give me some more information on your sister. Okay. And Lori, see if you feel that connection with Nina that, that Dana's helping you with. I love the fact that we're helping multiple people at the same time. Uh, Crystal says, no, I wasn't. She had stopped for, for another accident and was hit. Wow. Yes. Yeah, so I did get someone else with her. So it makes sense. So, wow, she was helping someone else. Okay, so let's connect you, Crystal, with your sister and please share her name, okay? Lori, do you feel that connection that Dana's putting you through? Because I could see the cord with you and Nina, your, your, your grandmother. Okay. Dana, are you getting anything for uh, Lori and her grandmother? Um, I just see them energetically in this big, beautiful embrace. So I hope you're feeling the connection, Lori, because it's there. 
<laughs> so I love it. Yeah, it's just it's lovely, and and the grandmother's Nina is so grateful to be able to have this moment. So feel that, Lori. Feel just allow that. There's tears of happiness here. Crystal, Robin is um, standing on the right side of your shoulder and she loves you very much. It looks like she has, she had blue eyes. I'm not sure, but her blue eyes, like blue is shining through her eyes. Lori says um, she was Nina's favorite. <laughs> um she wants you to so crystal she wants you to go near water she says i don't know if she loved water or what but you she says you can find her near water i don't know like a pond or a river or an ocean like if you can be near water and it's going to help you with the pain that you're feeling that's what she's saying Crystal, let me know if this resonates with you. And I'm just going to connect you to that water element and your sister right now. And I can see like the swirling of energy. You guys were connected to the hip. Did she have children? She didn't know she didn't have children. She was 20. So she may not have had children, but I'm not sure, but some kind of children are coming through and I'm not sure what that's about. Maybe it's your children, Crystal, that were close to her. Oh, she did. She had one daughter. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. So here we go. All right. Sometimes I feel like I'm imagining things, but I can see I'm on the right track. So this is why I need you to, to help validate this as I'm asking you guys questions, because when these loved ones come through, they do have a lot of great messages for us. So Crystal says, we fish a lot with my mom. My oldest daughter, Karen, was very close to her. So all of this is coming together. So next time you go in the water uh, to go fishing or water or whatever, um, there might be a swirling of, of water or like um, bigger waves or something. And she says she's there and she's she wants to connect with you through water. OK, so whatever that is, I want you to really connect with her. I can feel her energy like her. Um, she was just a really cool person, she says. She says, I'm cool. I don't know why she's saying that. I'm really cool. <laughs> like I'm cool with anything. Uh, you know, she maybe she was very popular in high school or whatever, but uh, or amongst the family. But she's um, she's just vibrating very very uh, beautifully right now as as her soul is just shining upon the family, especially uh, this Thanksgiving. Um, she's there to celebrate with you guys. So it's interesting. It, she's saying, keep a chair for me. I don't know what that means. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this beautiful, beautiful um, session we had here today. And if you want to connect with your loved ones, if you want messages, you could connect with myself or Dana. Dana has sessions for $99 right now. You could go to the holiday special, grab sessions with our healers, grab uh, MP3s, grab on-demand sessions. Um, we invite you to do all of that. And guys, if you want to learn how to become a healer right now, you can do that. The course is open. So email me at deepleshaw at anandaforlife.com. And I'm going to put my email right here so you can email me and let's talk. If you are serious about investing in yourself and finally having all eight Claire's open, and being the empath and stepping into your power, give yourself the gift this holiday of becoming an energy healer and medical intuitive and the expert that you want to be so that you can heal yourself, 
you can help your family. And if you want to help everyone else in the world, you can do that too. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. And I love all of you. Lots of love and light. Happy, happy holiday. And we'll see you next week, Wednesday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye.